My belated Christmas wish is that I can go through one of these recordings without stumbling over my words or saying in and um so many times that it becomes redundant. Ah, <sighs> okay. Anyway, you know who this is by now, and Yami Imanet and I have collaborated to make some sort of fanime-like thing that basically parodies a whole bunch of fanime anime tropes called Anne Polygon. It follows this dude named Code Red, he's pretty swell, he collects merit badges, and he teams up with this flat-chested Sundere girl named Kushner, who, with the help of a magic moon pendant, becomes a magical Mary Sue girl. And together they fight this omniscient force that wreaks havoc upon the unnamed town who is only known as the big bad ooh, ooh scary yeah so anyway uh before i get into the auditioning part that plot line was just as much as i could say without spoilers with the exception of one i don't really have definite headcanon voices for these guys so unfortunately i can't give you much of a idea of what they sound like. I know that people usually have something against rambling in an audition. Um, I actually encourage it this time so long as you're not like five minutes in and it's just you talking and not auditioning because I just kind of want to see what you sound like and then just look at the pictures of the characters and I just want you to be like what kind of voice do you think that they would like that, that, that you would think they'd have just by looking at them with the exception of one. Okay, so here's Code Red. Um, yeah, he's that guy I was talking about with the merit badge obsession thing. He's like presumably in his 20s, but he doesn't really have the kind of voice that a 20 year old or something should have. He's got more like a teenage kind of voice, a little obnoxious. Um, I actually had someone that I wanted to try out for him or get his role so if he's taken within a few days then don't be alarmed by that feel free to audition for him anyway i want to see what you think that he sounds like then there's kushner i don't really have a definite idea of what i want for her not exactly want kind of like how i'm talking right now but not my voice like not to the point where it's gravelly or where it's monotone because her type of trope that she parodies is kind of like, they get all flustered a lot. Like, no, you babaka! Kind of like that. And this is her transformed self, which I'll call Code Blue for convenience. Um, she has a generic magical girl voice, I can tell you that. Um, kind of like what you'd hear in a 4Kids dub or something. And that's as much as I can say about her. This is Holden Hands the Elf. Haha. <laughs> pun and i know that people usually think elves have some kind of nasally voice like oh i'm an elf i'm an elf but that's not what i'm looking for for this guy at all he's more like a kind of like a deep voice like the kind of voice someone code code red's age should have but he doesn't like that's kind of him he, like he doesn't sound like what an elf should usually sound like at all <laughs> it's kind of funny this is Yerumi Yamanato, and I'm just going to say right now that Yemi Yamanato has her voice, but I'm going to talk about her anyway. Um, she is like a persona of Yemi Yamanato, and she's like, she's pretty cool uh, so long as holding hands isn't around, or else she gets very weapon crazy. <laughs> and this is Sapunji Udafu. Guess who that's supposed to be a persona of? Guess who voice acts her? So she's a sponge wolf, obviously. And that's as much as I can say about her without dragging this out. Colette is a pretty, pretty princess who doesn't really seem to be doing much ruling in the town lately. I don't know. No one ever seems to dwell on that. And I honestly don't know what I want her to sound like. So just look at her and kind of think, what kind of voice do you think she has? Um... Then there is Flambe. He is this guy, and he's really tech savvy. Oh, well, yeah, he's a guy. And he's tech savvy. And he wants to levitate. He wants to fly. So he makes levitation boots that he wears almost all the time. So he's barely on his feet. Um, he is about 28, 29 or so. But whatever voice you kind of think that this guy would have just by looking at him, use it. Just try anything, honest to goodness. And there's going to be a whole bunch of background characters that I'm going to need. So, 
basically, if you want to be a part of this, but you don't think your voice suits any of the characters, or if you audition and don't get a role, you are definitely going to be used. Like, I'm doing a whole, there's going to be a whole bunch of little background characters, and one hit wonder characters, I guess you'd call them, and just, I'm going to need people that I can count on. Sorry for listening to me talk all this time. If you're still interested, that'd be great. Bye now.